How's it going guys? So my name is Mackenzie and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to become a good programmer. So first thing I recommend is learn how to use some sort of uh, source control where you can back up your code. So GitHub, Bitbucket, any of those. I've had <laughs> plenty of times where by accidentally I'll drop like a water on my laptop and there goes all my projects, all my code. So definitely learn how to back up your code. Second is if you're brand new to programming, right? Brand new, I'm talking about less than a year of like real world practice. Learn how to build uh, a blog or like a to-do list. The reason why I say these two projects is because these two projects teach you how to create things, delete things, and edit things, right? These are things that you do on the daily uh, for real world applications. So definitely learn how to do those things. Um, so if you wanna learn web development, learn how to build a blog. If you want to learn uh, mobile development, learn how to build a to-do list. There's plenty of videos out there on YouTube, and I feel like those two are the fundamental projects that would get you on and going. I see a lot of developers doing the mistake where they just uh, do a whole bunch of word problems, right? Like, how many for loops do you need to build a pyramid or some shit? So, don't do that. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend having some real-world practice. That way you actually get to practice your skills and actually build something cool at the end. And another thing is actually just build something. And what I mean is think of an idea. So you want to build the next Instagram, right? Just build the idea. Just think of an idea and build it. Even if you don't know how to, you start Googling little parts of it, right? How to do a login system. So you learn that part. Then, you know, how do I fetch all the users that uh, all the users post or something like that, right? You Google that part. You learn little by little. And then after that, you don't even have to Google no more. You just kind of just learn based on, you know, doing it over and over. So if you can't get what I'm, I'm saying, it's just practice your code. Practice coding every single day. Another thing I also recommend is uh, write comments. Write comments all over your code. I see a lot of people that don't write comments. Uh, you need comments because you're going to work on a project and then a couple months later, you're going to look at it. And you're going to be like, I have no clue what this does. And you're going to be lost. You're going to have to kind of look at the whole entire thing. Just just write comments. Comments are going to save your life. It's going to save everyone's life, uh, especially if like you're selling the project and you're working on, you know, you have multiple people working on the project. It, it's going to help the other person out. So definitely save. Uh, I mean, definitely uh, write some comments. The next thing I recommend is if you're a mobile developer, learn a little bit of back end, learn a little bit of web development. And if you're a web developer, learn a little bit of mobile development because uh, what tends to happen is people just they just become really good at one thing and they it, when you're talking to it's say on, when you're on the job and you're talking to the person who develops the api you don't really understand what the other person's saying because you don't understand that so definitely uh just learn multiple things don't just stick to being a, a mobile developer or just a web developer Definitely, I recommend sticking to one until you're really good at it, until you know what you're doing, and then just move on. Like, I first started web development. I started with PHP, and then I, I was PHP for years, and I did not want to learn mobile development because I was like, uh, I'll just build hybrid apps, right? So, uh, which is horrible, but... And then I was in an internship and they forced me to learn Swift, right? They're like, hey, we have a client. He has an app. You want to do it? Here, here's your Swift book and learn it. So uh, that's why. I, and then I fell in love with mobile development. Uh, so definitely just learn different things. It, it, each each uh, different language, different platform you work on, it, it works a little different. And it's kind of cool. So definitely just check out different things. And those are the tips I have for you guys. I'm just going to go over them once again. So back. Practice, 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 and practice real world problems like a blog, a to do list, just making a site, making an app. And if you have an idea, just build it. It's going to teach you all the fundamentals of, you know, the development process, right? If you don't know something, you kind of just Google it and then you kind of learn from there. That's actually, that's just, that's just what we do all day. <laughs> and next one is, you know, common your code. You, you want to common your code. Uh, it's going to help you in the future, right? If you're looking at your project a couple years from now, you want to know what it's doing, right? If you want to edit it or something. So, and the next one after that is just uh, learn, just learn different things, right? 
if you're a mobile developer, learn web, and if you're a web developer, learn mobile. And just keep learning different things. It's pretty cool and you'll, how you get to kind of think how they all connect. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Mackenzie once again. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are down below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like this video. And comment below, tell me what you guys, what programming languages you guys uh, are gonna learn and what you think makes you a good programmer. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.